Captain. Captain who? It seems you've been on quite an adventure. The compass, please. Yes, that. Well, matters grew complicated. It's eluded me for the moment. I don't have time for your games. Are you going to kill me now? <laughs> I like his cockiness. I like it. The boy you saw in your dream, is that him? Yes. That room. I've been there. Ah, well, see? Henry, you didn't say anything. You were terrified. I didn't want to make things worse by telling you I thought it might be real. Henry, in the, in the dream. He just said his name. He, and then I woke up. You're going back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> You go back to sleep, girl. <laughs> Henry! Who are you? My name is Aurora. I'm with your mom and your grandmother. Are they okay? Yes, they're fine. They just want to come home. And they need your help. They're, they're alive. They're alive. Who? Who's alive? My mom and Snow. Her name's Aurora. She said they have a way home, but there's someone in their way. Someone they need us to help them stop. Ooh. Your mother. <laughs> She's like, ah, oh, shit. <gasps> this is Burger Date? Burger Date. We have arrived at Burger Date. Let's have a burger, Belle. <laughs> have you ever had a hamburger? Of course. But I'd love to go anytime with you. Give me a burger. I charge extra for the pickles. Mm hmm. <laughs> We need to talk. Do we? Folks, uh, I think I may need to close early. Uh, everybody out. No, it's okay. I should probably No, just... no, please stay where you are. Whatever she has to say won't be a secret from you. Whatever <laughs> she wants, she won't get. I'm actually coming about the one thing that might unite us. Cora. <laughs> She's coming from our land. I need your help to stop her. I can handle Cora. But there's a big difference this time. Huh? This time, you have someone you care about. That is so true, though. That is so true. Belle. <laughs> yeah. Something wrong? I was caught on something. That does not explain your arm. What about my arm? The burns you're hiding. Mulan doesn't like it. You sure you're okay to do this, kid? I was born to do this. I'm done reading about heroes. I want to be one. Yeah, go Henry. Sometimes being one is knowing when not to run into the fire. Hashtag okay. Team Henry. Henry! Being beaten by zombies. Not necessarily zombies, but people without their hearts. <laughs> nice shot. I mean, I guess they are zombies. They were all dead. Thought you were cool. No. Oh, great. Look, you lost her. You still in one piece? Yeah, pretty much. They took her. Aurora's gone. <laughs> du, du, du. Henry, are you all right? Did you see it? Did you tell them? No, I, I didn't get the chance. Henry. He got burned. Aurora is gone. Why do we need to send Henry back to that fiery inferno with no one there to receive our message? 
Because someone will be there. Who? Snow. And I'll be waiting. You're going to this netherworld? I faced you, how bad could it be? It's not as simple as that. You can't get there. You haven't been under a sleeping couch. Well, then put me under one. Here we go. All aboard the David train. Here we go again. Woohoo! Woohoo! So David's going to try Charming, whatever. Charming is going to go into a sleeping curse to be able to talk to Snow, but with the assumption that she's going to get out, come back, and give him True Love's kiss to wake him up. But until then, he stays asleep, I bet. Let's just put Storybrooke at risk now because now Charming's asleep and yeah. <laughs> Wake up. On your feet. Hurry. No. No, are you gonna kill me? If I were here for that, then waking you first might not be the best course of action. Oh. So what's your course sent you? Core has no idea I'm here. I don't like being double crossed. Now go. Look in his sincere moment. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Hey, wait, wait, no, no, no. You look nervous. This never world, how bad is it? It's like you're, um... It's like you're on fire. In hell. Lost. <laughs> Drifting in the dark. We could spend all day trying to figure out why each of us should feel guilty, but it will not help us get home. Regina. That's who we should blame. Oh, good God. You all have a part in it, kind of, sort of, like... <sighs> I get it, Regina's evil, she's bad, she, you know, she's a villain. I hate saying that she's evil, she's a villain. But that that whole statement right there just kind of, I think that's just Emma angry. Because in all honesty, like she said, everybody has a part to play. Or like Snow said, everybody has kind of a part to play. You know, if she wouldn't have told Cora about Daniel, none of it would have happened. If, you know, she would have believed Henry beforehand, he wouldn't have gotten into a sleeping curse. So many things. So many things. Have you been using magic? Henry, I told you I wouldn't. And I haven't. I've really been trying. It's okay. At least you're using it to help people now. <laughs> I like I'm that. Trying. Go, Henry. Say hi to my son for me. It's not Henry, though. Oh, Snow's gonna be so mad. Or, like, she's either gonna be angry or sad that Charming did this. One of the two. I don't understand. I have. Uh oh. Henry should be here. I'm letting him come back. This is too dangerous. She does. I don't know how much time we have. Go. He says there's a way to stop Cora. We have to stun her, like we did with him. The quill! It wasn't the quill, it was the ink. Charming, how are you here? That, now that it is. <laughs> oh, whatever. I don't... I love you. Oh, okay. I, I, I still don't... I don't understand why... Just because he jumped through the fire suddenly the flames disappeared like was that just like a hero's moment or something like i don't just for them to i mean i don't understand that concept like you know i, I don't know i mean i know it's not a big deal and i'm sure it's not you know it's 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 probably something stupid to wonder about i'm just i'm curious about little things like that you know it, it's it just it yeah Looking for someone? Uh-oh. Oh, don't tell me you were dumb enough to let her go. You know I have to kill you. You should try thanking me. No, oh, really? Why is that? Because I brought you a gift. It's in the satchel. Hook's gonna be one of those you're never gonna know what side he's on because he's a fucking pirate. Corey may know I'm gone, but you didn't see me escape. How did you escape? It was Hook. He said he wanted to prove to you that you should have trusted him. That if you had trusted him, you could have defeated Cora together. Oh, good God. That the two of you could have gotten the remains of the wardrobe. But you know she won't trust you. Well, she doesn't have to. All I need is for her to believe that I was genuine in letting the girl go, which wages she does now. 
<laughs> I want to believe I was genuine <laughs> instead of genuine. I don't know. How do you say it? genuine or genuine? <laughs> I say genuine. <laughs> genuine. Does she, she obviously doesn't know that her heart's gone. I would think that she would know that her heart's gone. Like, I don't... I don't know. I mean, I know Graham did... Well, Graham didn't know because he was cursed. But Aurora's not cursed, so... I don't know. I guess she... I, I don't know how that works with the removal of a heart and... You know, them not knowing that you have it, I guess. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever the case may be. But, uh... Guys, that was episode 8, Into the Deep. Um, good episode. Really good episode. Uh, completely agree with Regina and David on not letting Henry go back, but instead Charming doing it. And unfortunately now he's in a sleeping curse, but uh, the things that he's willing to sacrifice to protect family and his, you know, his grandson, uh, of course, is true Charming. So... You know, and, and the point is that they still got the message to Emma and Snow. So now they know, you know, what they need to hopefully stop Cora. Uh, yeah. Hook, on the other hand, you know, I thought maybe just for a second he let Aurora go just to despite Cora. But, of course, uh seems like he cut out Aurora's heart, which is going to be interesting to me. I'm curious as to how he did it. I like the moment between Regina and Henry as well about the magic use and, you know, he's okay with her using it so long as she's helping people. Outside of that, I hope you enjoyed the episode and until next time for the next reaction, we'll see you then.